This is a journal entry showing what we do or what we record when we collect uh, money in advance of providing a good or service. So somebody's paid us, but we haven't given them anything and we might not do it for a while. Uh, and so that's what this journal entry is. On December 9th, Starbucks sold a $50 gift card expiring in the next 12 months to their customers. What is the journal entry for Starbucks? Well, with this transaction, this is, a, you know, a, everybody's had one of these gift card things. So uh, if you're Starbucks, uh, we always start with things we can touch. What we can touch is cash, all right? So we received cash, all right? Cash. We received cash of fifty dollars. Okay, and that is and the way we got there is our assets debit. When we debit assets, it shows an increase. And cash was given to us Starbucks, uh, and so we had an increase of fifty dollars. All right. Now the credit is a little bit more nuanced. The credit we might be tempted to make it revenue. It seems like it's revenue. I mean, we're selling something, right? But the reality is, is that gift card is not revenue. If you count it as revenue, it, it would seem like the job's already been done related to it. Have you already done the job related to this? No, what we probably do would, we'd classify this as an account, a liability account for something like revenue that we have to deliver, right? We need to show that revenue for something we have to deliver, because we haven't done this yet. You'd be tempted to do it here, but that's not right. That's not right because we haven't done it. We haven't made our mocha latte or whatever, you know, the, your caffeinated beverage is, all right? So instead, we have to show that in the future, we're gonna have to provide services. And what we call that uh, account, we call it unearned revenue, and it's a liability account. Un unearned revenue. All right, and unearned revenue goes under liabilities. And I know it sounds confusion, confusing, but we'll get to it in a sec. Unearned revenue, okay, unearned revenue. That's what that is right there, okay. Unearned revenue of $50, all right. And that unearned revenue essentially is letting us know that, yeah, hey, Starbucks got some cash, but they still gotta provide their mocha lattes or whatever it is. And if they had put it in, imagine if they had put it in as revenue. This is not right, but imagine had they put it in as revenue, all right? Well, what would that do to their income statement? Well, revenue minus expenses, uh, what that would do to their income statement is they got $50, right? And they didn't have to make any coffee beans or have serve a barista or anything like that. Nothing was involved. And so that $50 looks like straight cream profit. It looks like it would boost profit and make profit look insanely high. We don't want that. We want it to be tied to the revenue when we experience the expense of brewing the coffee beans or whatever we're doing there, all right? So that would be this entry, all right? That would be this entry. Now, just for fun, let's assume what happens when we deliver. So you know, you know, next week, because that's when you give the card, next week they go immediately to Starbucks and get their stuff, right? Well, what would be the debits and credits there? What would be the journal entry once it's done? The problem that I asked for, but it's always good to think about. Well, uh, first of all, we have unearned revenue, all right? Uh, that unearned revenue would have to come off. Unearned revenue. And the unearned revenue, $50 of coffee, they must have gotten coffee for the office. That's what it is. Um, so they got unearned revenue of $50, and that would be a debit. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I wrote that as a credit. This is a debit. Please, 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 that's a debit. I wrote it in the right spot, but uh, I wrote the wrong letter there. It's a debit. And that's where it'd go. It'd go here, unearned revenue, all right? And what we're doing is we're showing that this revenue is becoming earned. And the credit to that, the credit is actually revenue of $50 when that happens, all right? And you're gonna have revenue of $50. And the nice thing is, is when that revenue of $50, so this credit is gonna co correspond to here, and this one's gonna correspond to this one in this second period that we're making up. It's not part of the problem, we're just trying to go the extra mile in describing it. Uh, and the in the second period here, we have our unearned revenue and our revenue here, and then when we're making the coffee, we're gonna have all these expenses associated with the baristas and the, the coffee beans and all sorts of stuff so that we'll get an accurate count of what the net income is, income.
All right. So that is the way you do an unearned revenue uh, journal entry.